Hey, what's going on Salt Strong Nation? Richard here, and today I've got a quick tackle tip that's gonna save you a lot of time out on the water when using popping corks. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay guys, so going ahead and just getting into the equipment list really quick. So right here I've got our popping cork. This is actually our Four Horsemen. Uh, we carry this in our shop at fistron.com. And then the star of the show today, guys, is gonna be this right here. This is the VMC Crankbait Snap. These are awesome, and there's so many different things you can do and use uh, with these snaps. So I'll go over that in this video. And then of course, your favorite lure to use under a popping cork. And if you stay to the end of the video, I'll actually tell you my top three favorite lures to use under a popping cork and definitely one of them will surprise you. Okay guys, so one of the biggest problems when using a popping cork, and this is your fixed popping corks like we have here, not your adjustable ones, which honestly, I don't really like the adjustable ones as much. Uh, even the ones that you can wrap up and you know make a longer leader and stuff like that, it tends to get kinks and stuff like that in your line. So I personally like having just a standard popping cork um, and I think they last a little bit longer too. But one of the main problems is if you want to actually switch out lures or say you go and fish a different area and all of a sudden you're fishing a two foot zone and then you need to fish a zone that maybe you know, close to four or five feet, the problem that you have is that your leader is tied on here to this lure and you can't change it out quickly without having to completely retie or get a new piece of leader. So the tip I wanna share with you guys today is actually just gonna be something that's very, very simple, but it really saves Gives you a lot of time guys and that's going to be adding this vmc crankbait snap to the end of your leader so you can see it right here guys kind of push up there and you can see as well i really like adding the knot i use a friction knot not a loop knot on this one specifically i like adding the knot down at the narrower end of this crankbait snap because if it's up here on the kind of wider end it's a little bit more prone to slip around versus right here, it kind of comes down to a little bit better of a point. So that's just where I like putting my knot. But guys, you can see how easy this is. Um, and on this Four Horseman cork, it already comes with a swivel right here. And you can easily take this on and off just like that. And then when you're ready to snap it back on something else, you can just put it right back in here and then boom, you're ready to go. And then you snap it in and guys, these are, very, very strong. You can see right here, it's got 50 pound test on it. So I have a whole lot of trust with these and have used them on big fish, red fish, all of that. And they've done really, really well. Let's see if we can get a little closer look right here. There you go. So yeah, that's basically going to be it guys. But the cool thing is what you can do is if you can see right here, I'll undo this. I actually have this connected to a preset leader line for my shrimp right here. So any lure that you want, anything like that under your popping cork, you can just have these in some gallon plastic bags and throw them on the boat or kayak. And all of a sudden you've got two or three lures uh, or whatever, as many as you want, really already rigged up. And instead of having to go and take out a big spool of uh, you know monofilament and stuff like that to change up and put a new leader length on, you can already have these pre-rigged and all you gotta do is keep it right here again, tied right there on the end, put it back on your popping cork, snap it in, and now you can have a brand new lure on here and even a different leader length. So it's a really, really quick and easy way to change up your depth or your lure uh, when using popping corks. And guys, again, I do use a friction knot on these because just to be safe, if you're using a loop knot, you can see there's some little tiny uh, kind of pieces of metal. Those are just the ends of the snap sticking out. I don't want this to be moving around a lot, this knot, because, you know, worst case scenario, uh, it might get caught on one of these. Even though I don't think this would open still, uh, it could, you know, get caught on it. And I just want to kind of eliminate those problems. So I just stick with a standard uh, improved clinch right here. That's a great knot that's worked really well for me. I can tie it in seconds and it's very trustworthy. Now, down here on the end, guys, I do know uh, a lot of people will use, uh, same with like the dual lock snaps and different types of snaps on the actual lure itself. I personally don't like doing that unless I have to, so I just stick here with a standard loop knot. 
And really with this setup, once you have that crankbait snap over here on your popping cork, you don't really need to worry about putting one on here. So it just, you know, it's less tackle and hardware you have to have that's closer to your lure, which I really like. And that way I can switch up my leader links and lures really, really quickly. All right guys, so getting into my top three favorite lures to use under a popping cork. Starting out, my first and favorite imitation guys is gonna be some type of shrimp. Uh, and right now, my favorite one is this Power Prawn Junior. You can tell it is just an awesome looking lure. But guys, you know, you're around those smaller shrimp around your creeks and on an outgoing tide around oysters and mud flats. This thing really, really gets it done under a popping cork. And I've had a lot of good success with it recently and you can tell it's just got that awesome kind of translucent color just like a shrimp and it's also got red gold and silver flakes all in it so you can get a little bit closer and zoom in here you can see all those colors but man this is an absolute killer and you can use it in a lot of different other applications as well but one of my favorite ways to use it is right here under this popping cork all right guys, so my second favorite lure to use under popping cork is actually gonna be the Fred 2.0. And you can see it's a little bit more of a pink color. The regular Slam Shady color works great as well, but I kinda like this pink uh, under a popping cork. You know, it's a little bit more shrimpy uh, type of coloration. It's got some really good flakes in it as well that are silver. But I really, really like using this one when, yes, there are shrimp in the area, but there's also a lot of finger mullet because this can kind of do a little bit of both where, you know, if you're popping it, it can still sound like a fish feeding on a bunch of finger mullet that are, you know, trying to escape up at the top. This is a great way to kind of bridge that gap to where it'll still look like a shrimp when you're using it, but also if a fish is really keyed in on finger mullet, they'll go after this. And I've just got this rigged up with a quarter ounce trout eye. Definitely use the weight which you need uh, per your depth and the area you're fishing. Um, but if I'm fishing a little bit deeper water sometimes, I'll throw on that quarter ounce and this has got a really, really good darting action. And again, with the paddle tail, it's got a little bit more of resistance in the water. So it's not gonna fall quite as fast as say the shrimp lure or something like that that doesn't have a paddle tail on it. All right guys, so my third favorite is actually gonna be the Z-Man Jerk Shad. This is gonna be the four inch. The five inch will work, but man, these four inch ones work great. Similar to what I was just saying with the Power Prawn Junior, this is a very, very kind of shrimpy type of look and it really gets a ton of bites. And again, it can also kind of act like a you know finger mullet as well. So it's a really, really good way to kind of bridge that gap and it's got phenomenal action on it. I actually pair this up with a Texas eye uh, and actually will give a little bit of uh, sound as well when that kind of hook and that head meet and they're clicking around that so it just really really helps but it's got an awesome action um, and this one's really great to use in current as well because that z-man material does kind of float a little bit in the water uh, so just by having this you know going through the water it's going to stay just like this how a minnow or a shrimp would be looking and swimming through the water very natural um, it's not going to do a bottoms up or anything like that it's going to stay nice and level under that cork so you don't even have to pop as much with this particular one uh, and it's one that I really really like and have had a ton of success with. Alright guys so hopefully you found this tip helpful. It's definitely helped me out there on the water being able to change out my lure quickly or be able to change my leader length when I'm fishing a different area in different depths. But anyway guys you can get this all at our shop page at fishtron.com so definitely be sure to go there and check it out and if you have any questions be sure to drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to get back with you. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online club for saltwater anglers, especially if you're targeting redfish, sea trout, snook, or flounder. There's nothing else like it, and we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and money. We do this with our premium education, the exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.